Hey guys, welcome to Venus Creates. Today I am going to show you a very simple and quick way to make business cards using cardstock in design space. So as a layout, I like to start with a square and I'm going to unlock it and change the dimensions to the maximum print and cut size, which is 9.25 by 6.75. And just to confirm that my dimensions are the correct size, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to print. And as you can see on the right, the exclamation point did not pop up, which means it is the correct size. We are not going to print this square. It is just a layout. So now that we have that, we're going to create our business cards. So I'm gonna change mine to white. You can change yours to whichever color you would like. So the typical business card size is 3.5 by two. And that is the perfect card size. So now that I have my first card, I'm going to design it and then I will duplicate it and fit them in my layout square. So we're gonna start with text. I'm just going to put Venus creates. And of course you can design yours however you want. This is just a simple, easy way that I am showing you guys. So we have Venus creates, make it a little smaller, fit it on there. And to the font, a lot of times I go to Cricut, filter it by single layer just to make it easier when searching. I just want something super simple for this tutorial. Nothing fancy. So let's find a font. Just so you know, your font may look different once you make it into print. So just to show you the difference, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So that's what it looks like in cut and this is what it looks like in print. It makes it a little bit smaller. So I'm just scrolling, finding a font. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this one so we can continue the tutorial. So I have that. You can add your link or whatever you would like onto your card. I put my, um, my link tree link, which is a website where you can add all of your links into one place. It makes it much easier for me. Um, I will put the link in the description so that you can also take a look at it. So I'm going to add some embellishments or something cute onto it. So go to images and you can search one, a flower or whatever it is that you have in mind for your cards. Um, I like to take a look at decorative elements. Sometimes you can find some cute ones on here. I'm gonna scroll down, let's see. Okay, I'm going to art type and I don't want draw. So I might do cut only and print fill just to see what it brings up. But we're going to change it all to print and cut anyways. So let's see. I'm not liking these for this project. Let's see, let's go back to categories and let's 
see what's under simple shapes. I can't remember the exact place I found the ones for my actual business card, but this is just showing you, I guess, what Cricut has to offer. This is cute. Let's see, I might add a few of them. There's some really cute ones on here. Okay, so I'm just going to add a few just to see if there's any that I like. And you can put these as any color that you like. Let's see. My two yellow. That's kind of cute. See, that's really cute. Let's see. Yellow and yellow. Okay. So as I said before, you can put your your um, your website link. You can put your phone number, whatever it is that you like. I'm not going to add mine right this second. But I just want to show you a very quick tutorial on how I made mine. Let's see, I kind of like the look of this one. So I want everything to be centered, so I'm going to press shift, and I'm going to select my card, and I'm going to select my name, which you can also do it on the right. Select the card and select your name. I'm going to center it. Which I do not like, so I'm going to move it back up since I have this down here. Okay, so I'm going to select my card, select my name, and I'm just going to center horizontally. It looks perfect. I'm going to do the same with this. So I'm going to select it, shift, select my card, and center horizontally. Very cute, very simple. Um, I, of course, put a little more time and care into my actual cards, but I just wanted to show you how I did it. So we have that. I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. I'm not sure if I like that in yellow. Red. That's cute. Okay, so I am going to select my red heart, my name, and my white card, and I'm going to flatten them, and that will make them print and cut. And you do that after you have your card exactly the way that you want it to be. So now that I have that, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so I can see the entire layout. So now that we have our card, we are going to right click, duplicate, and you're just going to try to fit in as much as you can. Some people like their layout to be um, uh, the opposite. So it would be completely turned around like this. I found that with creating business cards, I fit the most Um, with it turned sideways Just and then whenever you flatten all of your cards together it will put it correctly on your mat but this is just the The easiest way I found to fit as many as I could onto um, one page so I'm just going to keep duplicating and unfortunately with print and cut, you can only fit so many on there. So I think I did one sideways. Let's see, maybe that is 90 degree angle. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate again. I wish we could fit more, but with 
my Cricut Maker. This is the largest size I could print and cut, even with my cardstock being 8.5 by 11. For some reason, this is the largest I can actually print and cut. So we're going to keep duplicating, and as you can see, I'm just kind of filling it in, fitting as many as I can. I tried fitting in one there, but I couldn't. I wish I could, but I could not. Unless you wanted to add a tiny little card, you could. If you wanted to make your card smaller, you could definitely fit more in there. But this is the um, standard business card size. So, so as you can see, this is as many as I'm going to be able to fit. I even tried turning them sideways, but then you can't fit, you know. So this is as many as I could do. So we're going to turn this back around, fit it back up there. All right. And this one can kind of just go wherever it wants to go down here. <laughs> All right. So that is our cards. So what I did was I, why is it, now it's saying it's too large. Yet up here it says it's not. Anyways, we're not going to cut that anyways, so we're going to click the eye to hide it because we don't need it. That way it won't cut. We're going to select all of our cards. It's kind of hard to see because they're white, but we're going to select them all. We are going to go to flatten. All right, and there you go. So I'm going to show you how it will look when you make it. I'm not going to print these out because I don't need them. I just made them for the tutorial. But it's super simple. If you have done print and cup before, you just print it on your regular printer and then you put it, place it on your mat exactly where it shows in the preview. I will show you. So this is what it looks like in the preview. And so you just place your cardstock in your printer, you print it out, place it on your mat, and then it cuts it out. It When I did it, it cut the cards out perfectly. So even though it looks like it's just one large photo or one large card, it is not. Like it will print it out perfectly into perfect business cards. So you do not need to mirror it or anything like that. Make sure your material size is 8.5 by 11 or 8.5 by 11, which it should be if you flattened it because that's the only size print and cut is. So that is all you need to do. Just print it and cut it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions, be sure to comment below. Bye guys!